Never do these stretches. If you suffer from neck or low back pain, these stretches could be causing your pain. Stay tuned. My name is Dr. John Saunders, and in this video, I'm gonna show you four stretches you should never do. Before I show you these low back and neck stretches that you should never do, I wanna just briefly touch on a little bit of spinal biomechanics. When we look at the spine from the side, we should expect a nice smooth lordosis in both the neck and the low back. These discs are designed for a finite number of reps throughout our life. If we stress these discs too much over a period of time, they will weaken and the tissue will give out. It can cause degenerative disc disease, it can cause a disc bulge, or even worse, a disc herniation. The low back is meant to be stable. It is the connection between our upper body and our lower body. It is designed to not move that much. We want it to be stable and secure to allow our motion to happen through our hips and our shoulders and to connect with strength our upper and lower body. The low back, when stable, allows us to perform our daily tasks of living. Our low back's designed to provide stability at a cost of mobility, meaning we want it to be secure and not moving too much. So that's why these stretches can actually damage or exacerbate an underlying back condition. Contrary, the neck, the neck will sacrifice stability for mobility. What that means is we get lots of motion in our neck because it's important for us to be able to use our neck so we can see in different directions, but that comes at a cost of stability. This might sound counterproductive, but when you feel stiff or achy or tight, one of the first things most people wanna do is stretch a muscle. While that's indicated in certain circumstances, it's often the wrong thing to do, especially when it comes to our spine. There's something called the stretch reflex. I'm not gonna bore you with the details, but basically what it means, when you stretch a muscle, there's a reaction, a counter reaction, that's going to contract the muscle to try to protect the soft tissue. So often when we stretch our lower back, we're initiating the stretch reflex while temporarily giving us some relief, it ends up making us tighter, not what we want to happen. So let's get to the stretches you should stop doing immediately. One stretch you should never do is bend down and touch your toes with a rounded back. The same applies to this stretch. Never round your back to try and touch your toes. Here's what happens when you do that. You take your normal lumbar natural curve and you flatten it and you put compression through these discs. We talked about these discs have a number of finite reps of flexion and extension through them in your lifetime. Well, you're gonna burn through these reps and you're gonna create a disc bulge or herniation. There are better ways to stretch your hamstrings. This is a stretch you need to avoid if you wanna save your low back. Another stretch you wanna avoid is the double knee to chest. Check out my sacrum. What happens is you create, again, a flexion in the lower back, compressing these discs. While it might temporarily feel good, it is causing micro damage to the soft tissue, the ligaments, especially the discs in your lower back. An alternative, in some cases, speak to your doctor, may be okay if you do single legs, but this would be specific recommendation based on your specific circumstances. I encourage you to talk to your healthcare provider to make sure that is okay. This is not okay. It's just not worth the risk of damaging a disc. The next stretch you want to avoid is this one. This is a very popular stretch and in certain circumstances it can be appropriately prescribed but most of you can find an alternative to this. Again, the discs over time do not like flexion or excessive rotation, especially if those movements are combined with flexion and twisting, you're gonna damage your discs. If you've ever damaged a disc, you know if you could go back in time, you'd do everything you could to prevent that from happening. So this stretch is just not worth it. neck rotations they're just not worth it if you have any spinal alignment problems degenerative disc disease bone spurs a pinched nerve 
a disc bulge or disc herniation. Remember, your neck sacrifices stability for mobility. When you put your neck in a complex pattern of movement like neck rotations, if there's any degree of instability or problems in your neck, you are sure to irritate it. Now always, for the general person, these stretches that I've shown you, they're just not worth the risk. Now, they might be indicated in certain conditions. If you know you have no disc damage or you know your alignment's okay, then they might be appropriately prescribed by your healthcare provider. Alternatively, your focus should come back to mobility and strength. As always, if you have questions, leave them below. I will do my best to answer every single one of your questions. This video right here is an excellent six minute core stability program. You need no equipment. You can do it in the comfort of your home. This video right here is a three minute neck mobility program in six plus three minutes, nine minutes every other day can help bring you some stability, some strength and some healing to your spinal column. I can't wait to see you in my next video. Until then, stay well.